Hey guys, Danny here with another LEGO Star Wars review for you. So today we have the 75187 BB-8. So this set came out in fall of 2017. It contains 1,106 pieces and this set is currently available on the LEGO site for $100. So this set guys, I think LEGO uh, did good with it. I think uh, it looks very, very movie accurate in a lot of ways. So, like I said, it is 1,106 pieces, but it's a pretty simple build, and the way you build this actually is, the inside is actually very hollow, and then you just build these patches of, of like, you know, of the, that make him the, like, the ball. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's a pretty, um, and each side is pretty similar to build. I mean, as you can see, they're, like, a little bit different based on color and stuff. As we can see, we have some red lights, blue lights, we have some that has both red and blue, red and blue here again, and that's very, very movie accurate by Lego. Uh, if you guys remember from, you know, Force Awakens or Last Jedi, these are the primary colors that BB-8 has, and the one here on his head is actually blue as well. So, Lego did pretty good, and like I said, pretty simple build, you just build these patches, and then once you build the six sides of the ball, you build his head, so this build only took me about two hours, it wasn't really that difficult. But anyway guys, before I get on to BB-8, let's get on to the uh, stand. The stand's pretty interesting, it's about 10 inches in length, and we do get a BB-8 minifigure. And let me show you guys what the stand says. If you guys want, you can pause the video and take a look at it. But what's really interesting is that BB-8 is only 67 meters, I found that to be very interesting. Affiliation to Resistance, BB-8, Astro Droid. So I took BB-8 off the stand, and I don't really like leaving him on the stand that much. The stand is actually extremely fragile, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him on. If you put him on and put pressure, these things just fly off. So, and I'll show you guys again, it happens all the time. There. So, what I would recommend is if you're ever moving this guy up to your shelf or something like that, um, that you remove the stand first, put BB-8 on a shelf, and then put the stand. Never ever lift it together. You're gonna break it. The main features, basically, if I can find them. The main feature is the head. The head's kind of cool. It's kind of like a bobblehead. It kind of shakes around, but you can also go a full 360 degrees with it if you'd like. Next feature we have uh, is a, from a very memorable scene in Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, if, if you guys remember that scene where uh, um, BB-8 and Rey kind of gave each other like a thumbs up, if you spin this out, out comes out BB-8's BB little like uh, shock thing, or like torch, whatever it is, and it, looks, and it looks like a thumbs up, so that's a pretty memorable moment. Get us there as fast as you can. I'll drop you to the Nema terminal. And you just spin this around. So, the only thing is though, to close it, you have to close it manually. So, that is pretty much it for features. Uh, if you'd like, I've seen a couple of guys uh, do this. You can stand him like this, if you'd like. Kind of like how he's rolling. I'd rather just keep him upright, but you have that option of maybe moving his head around, picking a side to choose from. Like so. But my biggest problem with this set, guys, um, if you guys remember from Star Wars The Force Awakens, BB-8 had that piece of the map that would find out Luke Skywalker's location. If you guys remember from right in the beginning of the movie, Poe gives BB-8 uh, the map and says, here, hold on to this because I'm going to be captured by the, M by, by the First Order. So he gives it to BB-8 and then BB-8 goes on his adventure with Rey and Finn and all those guys. You take this. It's safer with you than it is with me. You get as far away from here as you can. Do you hear me? I'll come back for you. You'll be all right. If you guys remember from that scene, one of these circles here has like a tiny compartment and then out comes out, you know, the key to the map. I don't know why 
this was not included. I mean, honestly, it would have made the set amazing. That's the only thing, in my opinion, that LEGO should have done. Like I said, the inside is 100% hollow. Uh, or actually, it's pretty hollow for the most part, so why couldn't they have gotten something where maybe, you know, you remove this, there could be like a little basket or something, and boom, you have the little piece of this map. So, I would say that's my only complaint to this set. But other than that, it's a great little set, guys. Uh, LEGO did a really good job with bb 8 antennas. They got the white one and the black and white one perfectly. Me too, big secret. This blue here, his eye. The circle looks really good. Uh, if you guys are familiar with how BB-8 looks, he has four of these little dashes that are orange. And they got the colors right, perfect. Blue and red, some just blue, some just red. So I would really highly recommend this set, guys. Again, I wish that thing was included. You know, the thing with the map could have been included. Because that was, you know, what was Force Awakens about. It was about finding Luke Skywalker. Leia sent Poe on a mission to find Luke Skywalker. So that's my only thing that I have to talk about this set that I don't like. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys the instruction book. Pretty thick instruction book, actually. And just so you guys can see how easy the build is. You have the inside that's hollow, and then you just basically build the, the different size of the circle of the ball and then he put his head. So it's a pretty easy build for the most part. Very, very simple. You got your parts list. And now guys, I'll show you the box. Pretty big box actually. Let me show you the spare parts. These are the plastics that come with the set. And here we have our spare parts. Spare parts are mostly little tiny parts, like you've got some little tiny white ones, little tiny orange ones, you got these little Technic pieces as well. So, yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this set. Again, I would highly recommend you pick up uh, this BB-8. Uh, LEGO did a really good job with it. Um, one thing I should mention as well, BB-8 off this stand is about nine inches tall and five inches wide. But anyway guys, I, I, I highly recommend this set. I hope you guys enjoyed this LEGO Star Wars review and just stay tuned for more LEGO Star Wars reviews coming out.